All right, welcome back. John, Beth Zeppelin, and others. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I also want to say thank you to the, like, eight people that recently subscribed since my last video. So it is helping having it at the beginning of the video. Anyways, so we're working on that the excavator thumb cylinder right now and i'll walk out there and show you okay so it's this that i'm working on so i went to harbor freight yesterday tried to find a pipe wrench that would go big enough to hook onto this outer rim right here but they only had one that goes up four inches and this is six inches so i have to build and make a spanner wrench basically so thank god i have a plasma cutter and welder and all that crap so i can make my own tools if needed and in this case it's needed so anyways uh so now i'm on the hunt for something that is six inches around so i can use that as a uh pattern so i can make a tool so anyway um <clears throat> well, i don't know what that how big that is anyways i'm gonna go get my calipers my mic and find one that's six inches so hold on okay this is what i came out with so this one is a hubcap uh it is five and a half that one is 5.7 that one that one is 5.9 uh coffee lid folgers thing is 6.3 and that one's seven so that's a six uh 56 ford headlight bucket anyway or a headlight rim so we're gonna use the 6.9 uh candle bucket we're gonna uh scribe uh, the outside rim and hopefully it, it equals up to six so yeah close i can always grind it down if it's too big and yeah can't really add to unless i weld onto it anyways so i got this three eighths plate uh, uh that i'm going to cut me out a a tool so follow along let me uh, show you how that one Show you how i do that one so yeah okay so i drew out my tool using the edge of the bucket and that uh bezel so as everybody can see it is pretty damn close to six inches around and i left about three quarters of an inch ish uh on the outside for strength uh i might go a little bit more but anyway so i drew out my tool uh i made the handle a little bit bigger so in case i had to slide a pipe in here for leverage probably going to end up making this a little bit bigger a little bit thicker so it'll handle a little bit more oops so yep time to fire up the old plasma cutter and oh shit uh get that cut out and take it to the belt grinder and make a tool so. okay so now that i got that cut out it's still a little warm but i dipped it in the snowbank well mud puddle whatever old snowbank so as you can see i did make it a little bit bigger than what i originally needed to make it a little bit stronger but this has definitely got to get ground down enough to fit in that notch so i'm gonna cut all this slag off and bang all this slag off and grind everything down so it's nice and smooth and make it look a little bit better take that off and uh i'm not gonna bore you with the uh, grinding process but yep that's basically how i make my own tools all right well as you can see uh it works so that's basically what I built, what I made. It's six inches. It's got a little hook on it. So it hooks onto these little 
prong things here. So you hook it, hook it good, and now you can put a cheater pipe on here and spin it off. So hey, there that's gonna conclude this one. So, anyways, if you don't have the right tools, just figure out what you need, figure out how it's supposed to be get pictures off the internet whatever and make one that whole tool uh i want to say it costs like 80 bucks for a six inch spanner wrench it cost me about three bucks so might not look pretty but you know what it's functional and it works well we're gonna find out <laughs> anyways thanks for watching uh make sure to like share and subscribe uh yeah redneck ingenuity